Sagittarius Moon. Welcome, thank you so much for joining me here in beautiful Balmoral Beach, Sydney, Australia. I just love this place and I've been here all afternoon. I've seen the sun come over the horizon. It's just dipped over there past that horizon line. It's absolutely beautiful here. I've had to put on my warm gear because it's getting cold and it's getting dark so I better hurry up. <laughs> Now Sag Moon, you are in the middle of Sardisathi. I've got that note right on the top here because it's like my Sardisathi people, I want to spend time with you and I want to give you my care and attention because I know you're going through some stuff here. Let's take a look. Now so for every single sign, I've been dividing it into future opportunity and past. So future and past, that's what we're all dealing with at the moment. And those of us who are throwing our energy into the future and creating the future, we're going to get through just fine so that's really the, the summary um, future opportunity where is that for you let's have a look Mars and Rahu sharing the sign of Gemini from 7 May 2019 to 22nd June 2019 that's happening in your seventh house so my notes here and I've got your chart basically if you're married right go slow take your time okay it's not a time to be um, trying to win any battles here in fact if there are any battles really time to walk the dog or go for a long drive or something like that you know this is time to go slow so more energy in your seventh house with both Mars and Rahu can lead to tensions it can lead to flare-ups um, take time out speak in a considered way with your spouse don't rush yeah create space in your relationship know that you guys have all the time in the world so whatever it is you're going through just give it time give it space Right? Instead, contemplate how you'd like to grow with your partner, how you want your future to be. And that's what I mean about the future opportunity that's here for you. You want to be thinking about the future. Okay? In relation to your relationship, you want to be thinking, okay, maybe it's not where it is, where you want it now. And this, by the way, this is relationship, could be in relation to your business as well. Okay? So if you're single, this might be the commitment you've made to the business that you want to create or that you are creating or that you're in. Okay? So, if it's not going great, create space and visualize the future. Spend more time strategizing the future, organizing, getting ready, okay? Because there, there are going to be better transits coming up. Now, what's the past that you might be dealing with? Okay, so we've got Jupiter retrograde in Scorpio till 8 July 2019. That's happening in your 12th house. So, expenditure might be higher. Uh, long distance travel is possible, especially if you need a little getaway. Brilliant. Take it. If you can get it, have a getaway, do it. That's my advice. Um, ultimately, this transit will make you more spiritual. Yes, absolutely. Whether you like it or not, you are going to be more spiritual for sure. Uh, this is Gandanta for you thereabouts. Yeah, so you've been given time in the deep waters of Pisces before Jupiter goes forward into Aries, where your inner leader will emerge. So it's really, it's really an interesting time. Take it easy if you have to, honestly. Um, especially you're inside Isatha, you're kind of in the height of it. If you need to chill out, chill out, take time. So through old things, new light is coming through with this Saturn Ketha conjunction that I did a video about some time ago. Um, you'll want to look out for new illumination in your sense of self. Okay, so that could be gold that could be profound that could be highly spiritual that could be totally amazing so Sagittarius moon I'm gonna leave it there as I say if you're stuck in the past if, if things are stagnant if things aren't going your way step into the future create the future even if it's as tiny as jotting down a diagram or creating a new Instagram or taking a photo or just some little thing where it's you and the future put your energy there and those of us who are actively creating the future are going to get through this time just fine. So Sagittarius Moon, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, I thought I'd share with you this beautiful scene. So I was sitting just over there on those rocks and this is the whole scene. Isn't it stunning?